So what you'll see in integration is these words being bandied about, indefinite integral and definite integral. And you might be wondering, well, what is the difference between these two? Well, an indefinite integral is just an integral like this, where there are no limits attached. And this one is a definite integral because it has limits. OK, so numbers that you're going to evaluate. So that is the key difference. Now, obviously, right, with an indefinite integral, because we're not substituting any values in for this situation, you will need to make sure that you add in a constant of integration. Okay. However, over here we've seen that we don't need to add the plus C constant of integration in. Okay. So make sure you do for every indefinite integral, but leave it out when you're doing definite integrals, otherwise it's got the potential to cause confusion.